Hey there fellow Minecraftians, welcome to another mod showcase and today I'm taking a look at the Gravestone mod. Now this mod was made by Nightkosh, it is version 1.6.1 right now and it's available for Minecraft 1.5.1 and there are two extra requirements this time, you will need Forge and the Player API mod. Now this mod is pretty cool, the basic idea is that it adds gravestones when you die, I will demonstrate this uh, right now. Um, let me just kill myself really quickly with this cactus. There we go. And when I now respawn, as you can see, there is a gravestone right here. And uh, some of my stuff, which I dropped. And um, you can actually right click it, and you will see that the scorpion was pricked to death. Now, this is really cool, but there is much, much more to this mod. Um, and this is the coolest thing, if you ask me. This right here is the uh, is a giant graveyard thingy, and it has these catacombs. Whoa, skeleton hit me right there. Um, this thing to spawn is quite rare, but I found it by flying around in the creative mode. And uh, there's all these uh, graves with random text right here. As you can see, Chuck Starf to death. <laughs> etc and there are tons and tons of these things but in the center is this giant building and this block right here is not a normal nether brick block it is an actual time trap I've got one right here as well and what this will do is that it will set the time to uh, sunset so you will see when I step on it as you can see the game a little bit darker and it's sunset and that means that it will be dark um, and that means that uh, these gravestone tombs thingies can actually start uh, spawning mobs because that's what they do when it uh, gets night but let's just go in and check this out because there are some surprises within nasty ones and nice ones so let's kill that zombie um, there should be some treasures and stuff but also a lot of spawners as you can see right there and um, this thing is said to be absolutely huge. So it was slain by wolf. Okay, cool. And uh, you can also actually break these, for which I will need a pickaxe. So uh, I'll quickly give myself one. There we go. And they will drop stuff, as you can see. Now these will also spawn in uh, uh, villages right now, which I'll show you in a second. Oh. But as you can see now it's night, so these uh, gravestones can also spawn mobs, which they, just, which they just did. And it probably wasn't really clever to go in without any armor on. So um, I'm going to die, and now I'll uh, go in there again in creative mode. Now as you can see this place is absolutely infested with mobs now that, now that it's night, and it just keeps spawning and spawning. But luckily I'm in creative mode now, like I said I would, and uh, I'm going to go in there once more, just to check it out. And it just looks really, really cool. But this uh, area right here also is absolutely huge. And look at the amount of mobs. This is absolutely insane. Some endermans even. Spiders. But um, there you have one of the treasure chests. There are rewards for going in here. Nice book. Some papers. They're not really great treasure so far. But whatever. Let me just uh, explore a bit more. Another chest. Let's see what's inside. Some coal and some iron, that's a little bit more valuable. So there is also some good stuff, not only not only books <laughs> and some paper. You can see another one of these uh, delicious death traps right here. Oop. Let's move on. Now as you can see, this right here is a wither skeleton, which is also pretty cool they spawn as well. And also at the end of these catacombs, there is supposedly a wither, which you can uh, then uh, destroy and then I th guess that's the end of this uh, catacombs thing. But um, that's pretty cool. Here we have an enchanted book, Bane of Arthropods 4. Quite cool. So I found this room completely sealed off with some chests in it on top of TNT. So I'm guessing these are trap chests. So well, let me just punch this down. Yep, there's nothing for the, th for the rest there. Uh, let's just see if we can open one. Yep, there is a lot of stuff in it, but it indeed is a trap chest, as I would have thought already. Hmm, <laughs> you can see some pieces of the catacombs. Ooh, a so touch book, that's actually pretty
pretty damn good. Here's another nice trap. I actually didn't even see it. I walked straight into it. Yep. <laughs> Uh, some poison effects, poison too, so it's actually quite lethal if you're in survival mode. Uh, strapped to some trip wire. Now I grab myself an x-ray pack just to show you how huge this thing is. Everything you see right here is part of the catacombs. It is absolutely insane. That right there is the entrance I believe. And it goes on all the way to there and there. And this thing is just gigantic. Now sadly, after a search of about half an hour, I wasn't able to locate the end of these catacombs where there should be a wither spawner, um, like this one. It will look a, lot, <laughs> a bit like this, wither spawner, which will spawn a wither if you come too close to it. And I think he's guarding a uh, nether portal. Now because I'm in creative, he isn't attacking me, but that pig over there. But um, you get it, if you're in survival, uh, he will kill you. So this most definitely is a very much an end game thing, you need to be very very strong, without a good armor you wouldn't last a minute in there, but um, I promised you to uh, check out the villages as well, so let me very quickly do that too. So here we are in the village, and um, this right here is the cemetery which you can now find in villages. It just has the same uh, gravestone thingies which has little stories about how they died, as you can see. And uh, you can also just uh, punch these down and get some loot. Being very disrespectful, but uh, let's do that. And you actually get quite a bit of loot. As you can see, I already got a diamond shovel. And um, there really are some uh, very powerful and uh, cool things in there. So let me just grab these. So as you can see, just doing this already gave me a diamond shovel, um, bow and arrows, a lot of bones, some a cookie, uh, <laughs> four cookies actually, clocks, a clock and a compass, and you can actually also get diamond swords and stuff, and uh, better armor. I actually got quite unlucky relatively, but still this is a lot of loot. Now this mod is absolutely great, and I can definitely recommend you to go check this mod out and see the catacombs for yourself, how big they are. Um, it adds something to do when you've uh, beaten the end and you've got very powerful armor. Um, and for the rest, all I can say is uh, go check this mod out. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you the next time.